Good day and welcome to our short uh, demonstration and explanation of how to open old BKF backup files using uh, Windows 10, or on Windows 10, I should say. Now, just some brief background. So what was happening for me was uh, I was bringing uh, all of my old backups from a pile of DVDs and old tiny USB drives and things like that into a single uh, consolidated disk. And when I did that, I found a DVD that had this file on it. This BKF, and I went, what the heck's a BKF? It rings a bell, I can't. Anyway, it's backup file, that's all it means. So uh, what it is, I went, I, I remembered, okay, that's uh, the deprecated uh, Windows NT backup, or Windows backup as it's called, uh, and the download, I just remember it being NT backup, which, because I've been doing this for, you know, 35 years, not that big a deal. So anyway, I went, downloaded it, found it from Microsoft, they make it available, ran it Windows 10, because it actually is a uh, standalone, it's just, it doesn't really install, you just run the executable. Uh, it's uh, like a portable app. The problem with it was it was missing a critical file, and um, I can't recall what the file vss.api.dll, and it needs to be an old one, something from 2002, I think. So I spent uh, some time dealing with a number of dodgy websites to get it. I found that file, and now NT5 works, uh, NT5 backup works great. So what I've done is I've written this little article, which you can go to our website and find, and uh, you can ignore the text up here if you wish. So you can see here, you can download it directly from us. Uh, that includes the uh, the API that you need, and you'll be on your way. So once you download, well, let's, let's just do it. So we'll download the file. It doesn't take very long. Show in folder. And let's just unzip this puppy. There it is. Uh, I use, you can extract it any way you wish. I'm just going to extract it uh, using 7-zip, uh, but you can use anything you want. Okay, there it is. And you'll notice there's NT Backup along with the two other files that NT Backup from Microsoft comes with, plus this VSS file that you need. So let's just run it. And all you do is double click on it and it comes up with this, it can't locate removable storage. That's correct, don't worry about it. That's a known uh, thing it needs. It doesn't need, it actually looks for a service, but that service doesn't exist anymore. So just click OK. There you go. And you can run through the wizard, let's do that. So we're going to restore files in my case, and I assume that's what you're going to do. Now, because I've already done this once, it's remembered that it's here, but uh, let's say let's say you didn't know where it was, let's go pull it out. So I'll click restore, and browse I should say, folder, there it is right there. So uh, what I did is I copied, by the way, I copied this file off of my DVD. The file, you need write permissions to it. It needs to open it and expand it. So. Uh, if you have it on a DVD or something where you're read-only, it won't work. So you need to make sure, in, well, in my case, I just copied it to my downloads folder. So anyway, there it is. I also right-clicked on it and checked the properties to make sure it wasn't blocked. It wasn't, but uh, you may want to check that depending on how you've got uh, your VKF file. If you downloaded it from the web, you're going to want to right-click on it, select properties, and there'll be a block, unblock option here. You need to unblock it. Anyway, for most people, that's not an issue. So just double-click on the file. This, this will open up and this will take a minute. And there, now let's just expand and see what's here. Now this happens to be my old web server from 2006. Now all I really cared about was uh, the data drives and specifically all I cared about was the websites. So let's just keep expanding this so you can see, ran a, a bunch of websites back then, Alcon Electric, Commodore, Geochemtech, get, get it stuff, blah, blah, blah. So, uh, and really what I care about here is the Commodore site and my um, uh, URTech, uh, which was my, back then it was UR uh, Wireless. So there's my Commodore, I can click on those and I can select next. And uh, if you don't say where you're going to, uh, if you don't click advanced, it's gonna try to put the back in the original location, which doesn't exist, so that's gonna be a problem. You have to click advanced and then original location, no thanks. I want it to go to an alternate location. I'm again I'm going to throw it in my downloads. This new this new folder I've created. It doesn't make a difference where you put it. And let's just run through it. I'll click OK and next and uh, leave existed, blah blah blah. Now I'll replace them all. Right? If there's anything there, just gun them. Okay, restore security settings. I really don't want to do that. So that's if you had NTFS permissions, it'll do that. And preserve existing restore points, uh, volume up points. I don't need that either. Same with junction points, I don't need that. And there aren't any in here, by the way, so I don't have to worry about those. So I'll turn those all off and let's just uh, let this run. I'll speed through it so you don't have to sit and wait.
There we go. Now we can click the report. You don't have to, but all it does is give you a quick summary of the things you already know. So we're going to leave that. But let's go to this folder and take a look at it. You can see it uh, maintained the folder structure. And there they are. There's all my old stuff. A whole pile of old Commodore manuals. Yay. Okay, so that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please get a hold of us at www.urtech.ca. Thank you and have a great day. Bye-bye.